We're going to go out here and see the progress on the carport project. I'm going to show you what it is today and then give you a short review of the steps that got us there. The boys are working on the door between us and the neighbor lady today. <laughs> Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Well, we're getting so very close to not having to park our cars on the grass anymore. The new sidewalk is ready for the forms to come up. The concrete pad is all finished. The ramp up into the bodega for the Quattromoto is finished, the columns are finished, and the welding up there on the beams is all done. And the next step, and the final step, is to put all of this fiberglass laminate that looks like real tiles, but it's probably uh, just as good and much easier to clean when all of the guamuchos fall on it. So, pretty darn soon. I think Saturday, a couple of days from now, they're going to come and put the roof on. And we'll be done with the carport. There were a lot of steps to get to this place in the project. I've done some plumbing for uh, hose bibs. Got three of them there. Didn't really need three of them, but I had to buy some PVC pipe and I had enough left over to just make a third one up there. Yesterday they laid out this metal frame for the concrete form for the cement pad that'll be underneath the carport. So that's where we are today. Did I show you why I need a carport? See that white stuff? I don't know, can you see the roof? Well, we're laying in a bed of gravel and that's partly as a base and partly to level things out because it's lower here than it is over there. And rather than remove all of these cobblestones, which is the old uh, driveway, uh, we're going to level it out with gravel. Cobblestone. You know, my friend from uh, Switzerland, where they have real cobblestone, says, stop calling the streets in Ahi cobblestone streets. They're just damn rocks. So, last night we put the Maya, the steel reinforcement. Maya is the word for net, or um, like the volleyball net is the Maya, and they call this Maya. First wheelbarrow for Toro Ben? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.
fired up the main beam up today. So we just got the, the beams. This morning the real welding starts. All of this stuff up here is just wired together at the moment and it gets welded permanently by my welder Danny. Some of the math I did to figure out where all this metal goes. And this is one sheet of that fiberglass roofing tiles. And I figured out that if I used a three inch lap instead of a four inch lap, I could save one whole row, which is 14 of those things, which is about 5,000 pesos. 5,000 pesos is about $260. So why didn't I weld it myself? Well, first of all, I'm not a professional welder and this needs to be done right. And secondly, because the welder that I have is a 110 volt welder. So it needs a little more amperage to do the heavier steel but so far the welding that I did do myself ain't falling down <laughs> so maybe we're wondering how the welder gets hooked up to the electricity this is my main panel box actually have two of them those are the bus fuses i was talking about the other day so what he's done is he's hooked up to two phases and since this is three phase power coming in here each phase here in mexico is i think 108 volts so he's getting 216 volts for his welders And now we're working on a sidewalk from the carport out here to my island. Well, it's my first time pulling the cars in there to see if they fit or how they fit. I knew they were going to fit. I measured it. But uh, I'm real happy with the way they fit. Plenty of room left over over there for another car. You might be wondering why this is just a little bit funky right here. And there's a very good reason for it. And the very good reason is right there. We tested the BMW about uh, 10 days ago before we made this pad here. It needed to be about two inches higher right there to keep the low clearance of the BMW from scraping at that spot. So that's why it's a little funky right there. I thought about extending that on out there, but then uh, it gets funky on the other end because that's a big slope over there. So it's got to be funky somewhere. We did consider other options. Um, selling the car and getting a Jeep. Uh, more air in the tires. Bigger tires. Parking it over here and putting the van over there. Over here it wasn't a problem, 
but um, that's where I want to park it. Plus, it's a little hard to get the van back around the tree there. So, that's our solution. We still got some cleaning up to do. I have 23 sprinkler heads. And it automatically fills the fountain. about to get sprayed with that one. I'm lacking my new sidewalk a lot. Well, they didn't get all of the roof tiles put up there, but they made some serious progress. Well, I just pressure washed all of the construction debris off of the concrete and the roof is finished thought I would come out here and take a picture because it'll never be this clean again ever and Cut a hole in my roof instead of uh, cutting off Mexico's tree. And the tree is happy with all of its new leaves. And from inside the little bodega, and now the cars are coming off the grass. The carport is done. The last little touch was right down here. I mean, finished off the base of the pedestals and I put my stamp on it, JC. That would be uh, yours truly, or Johnny Carson, Jesus Christ, Julius Caesar, and uh, Jesus Corona. The Quatramaro is parked in the bodega. Plenty of room left for another car. When we rent the house out, which we do when we're in the States in the motorhome, I will park the van in this spot and then that big spot in the middle where the van is will be for the uh, renter. That's the plan. I'm glad to be done with this project. It was a fun project. Um, spent some money, but I think it's a great improvement to the property. Maybe I'll go up in the top of the tower to give you a bird's eye view. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.